out of a time's barrier she must break. Penetrate with a thinking depths, the voice mounts the hush. Look into the lonely eyes of immortal death, and with her rude spirit, measure the infinite night. That is what Savitri has to do. The conquest of death in life. In the life of Satyavan, that is what is meant by the elimination of the past, conquest of death in life. That is the elimination of the past and the occasion is the death of Satyavan. The dissolution or the workings of the inconscient nature, that is the real issue. Savitri has to attend to that. This nature was, to begin with, necessary, was the motivating force to drive the march of Satyavan's soul until now, until today. She was necessary to lead the march of his soul. Her past energies, the energies of the of this nature, they were shaping his progress until now. The powers born of the dark and dreadful reality were instrumental in the progress up to now. But they cannot go further. And if a further progress is necessary, is desirable, then this past must disappear. But there cannot be the end of darkness with the darkness itself. Darkness cannot remove darkness. Night cannot terminate night. It has to be with light. It has to end. The darkness has to end. That night has to end with light. This darkness has to end to end death. Life must assert herself. To end, the end of death has to be in his death. Savitri has to bring it about that end. The fixed cosmic sequence, the chain of cause and effect, the operation of the karmic laws has to go away in the future has to dawn, in the future has to arrive, the cosmic laws must be nullified, must disappear. Savitri has to clear the ground for that to happen. She has to hew the ways of immortality in this mortal creation. The birth of Savitri is in that context to hew the ways of immortality, the incarnation, the consciousness force that is Savitri has to cut away through the mortal medium. Savitri must conquer death. The occasion for that conquest is the death of Satyavan. This conquest has already been decided elsewhere. Yes. Savitri will win the victory. It has already been fixed. It has been fixed in the realm of the absolutes. It is already settled there, but it has to be transcribed now in the mortal world. The defeatless gods, the transcendental gods, the powers of light and force, those who guide and govern the mortal's progress, the progress in mortality, they have already debated the issue and the matter has already been settled, but it has worked out here upon earth on Mrityu Loka. 
the communique or the debate, the debate between the gods is already issued out that divine Savitri must take the birth as mortal Savitri. That is the communique of the debate of the gods in the transcendent. That Savitri must take the birth as mortal Savitri. Savitri has to meet the embodied nothingness and win the victory over him in a soul's debate. In a soul's debate with him, she must win the victory over him. In that debate, Savitri will stand alone, alone on the extinction sewers. There she will confront the formless cause that afflicts this creation. The past has to go away. Nature's harsh economy must be altered. Savitri must win acquittance from her bond to the past. The servitude to the karmic gods must be thrown away. Savitri must break through the timeless barrier and penetrate into the depths of the monstrous void. She must penetrate into the depths of the void, shunya, nothingness. Into that she must enter. Through that she must cut the door to the transcendent. Savitri must look into the eyes of death she must measure the night of the infinite. This night of the infinite is there for a purpose. Savitri must measure out its meaning, its content. To do that, the time has come. For Savitri, that moment has now arrived. The moment of a truth is nigh. Savitri must win the battle and the moment for that has now come. It is in that victory will arrive the new creation, will appear the new manifestation, will begin the new future, the desired future. Mm -hmm.